Hi, my name is Ryan and I'm with Longmont Public Media. I started playing Pokemon Go in 2021. Honestly, I was about to put down the game until Pokemon Go Fest came out. And I had a friend who wanted to go play and she convinced me to go and play the game. And I actually found a Facebook group that was playing out in Longmont. And because there were so many people playing, um, I got to do a whole bunch of raids and really got into the game and and uh, became friend, you know, made friends with the community here in Longmont and found out that a lot of people play out here in in Longmont. When I had looked at the map about the stuff that was coming up, I saw that Longmont was totally left out. I decided to go downtown and go to Roosevelt Park to a place where I had met those players last year and where a lot of people know to play where they want to meet other players. And I found people walking around and I decided to set up a camera and just start interviewing people. And here's what they had to say. Well, it, the moment it launched, I was ready. I think it was like, we were planning it all day. We were like the whole day just being like waiting for it to launch so we could. And then it launched a day early. Um, so we were like really excited. I don't know. It was just, we love Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been a, a Pokemon fan literally my entire life. Uh, so when the app was announced, we were just, me and my friends were super excited. I remember us that very first night, we uh, wound up walking around a Safeway parking lot at like three in the morning catching yep. Pokemon. Um, and then I think what uh, drew me to stay was mostly the sense of community. Everybody out here doing the same thing, being happy. Everybody's like out in the world, especially after the last couple of years we've had where everybody's, everybody's been shut up inside. It's it's nice. Yeah. It's, ni it's nice yeah, to feel it, together again. It gets you outside, which is nice. <laughs> Uh, a shiny Kyogre or a shiny unknown? Shinies. Uh, yeah, shiny hunting. <laughs> shiny hunting's the game. A loss of shinies. Nothing specific. A few new shinies. Yeah. Uh, I know that there are a couple of region locks that are available, so yep. going for those. Big huh? luck. It's for everybody, you know, you'll meet little kids, you'll meet people who are older. Um, I mean, it gets, you'll see, you know, senior citizens will come out just to walk and they do it with their grandkids. And I, I think that's probably my favorite part is that there isn't like a community that isn't participating in this. It's, it's just a little bit of everybody. I kind of like when there's more because then all the rates are filled up and you can just get them easier. Uh, I think it's pretty fun how it is. Uh, there are definitely some bugs and things that I know they're working on to work out. Um, just general quality of life improvements, lag things like that. Um, it's fun to see them try and do some more unique events rather than just kind of the same formula over and over. So like things like today are really fun because of that. But yeah, I think it'd be fun to see some local businesses get involved. I mean, there's lots of opportunities to get Pokemon Go players into the local businesses, get some of their names out into the community. Um, and you know, if there's like a deal or a sale or a, a little prize that can kind of create that sort of relationship, um, I think that would be mutually beneficial um, and just kind of a great way to, to get more people into the community. I think there'd be a huge community draw if we could get some like vendor booths set up. Like if Left Hand Brewery set up a booth out here today, like they do at their, like I know they've got Left of Palooza in a couple of weeks, but if they set up something out here, you'd see twice as many people just interacting with the people who are playing the game get some new faces involved. It'd be great. <laughs> There's a, a subreddit where you can just join them from around the world. And that's sweet, because you get access to region locks and um, get all the, the cool stickers. They have the new postcard system. You can save stuff from all around the world. And that's cool. Those early levels are a bit of a brain, but, <laughs> yes. but then it pays off. 
up as you as you get higher levels up, but definitely those early levels. Uh, yeah, paddle league isn't as bad as it looks. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it, sometimes it is actually, but yeah, it's not as terrible as I as I want to make it out to be. <laughs> I'm just I'm very grateful for this game. Really, really fun to meet new people and get outside and walk around. And uh, good luck, shiny good luck for everyone out there.